What trad people don't seem to understand is feminism exists today because men misbehave. Women were at the house cooking, cleaning, taking care of the kids while men were having kids with mistresses, cheating, living this double life. It got to a point where women were like, wait, so I'm just the maid and nanny? You're out here banging all these hoes, doing all this stuff on me, running game, and I can't go work. I can't support myself. I'm so busy at the house that I can't even get out of this relationship. I might as well uh, go get a job and be independent and not need you. That's, that's why we're at where we're at. It's easy for the trad people to look back in time and go, oh, that would have been nice, stay at home, whatever. Yeah, it'd be great if men did their effing job and behaved. They don't. So yes, women need independence and to be able to take care of themselves. Duh. I agree. I agree? That was Christian Walker, content creator and conservative political commentator who usually blames the left for the problems in today's America, sure. But his brand is ranting about stuff he's already mad at or doesn't like. But here, he seems to be making sense. He's making sense. Before I continue, if you didn't know, Christian Walker is the son of former Heisman Trophy winner and current U.S. Senate candidate Herschel Walker. Now, Christian will go on to say, you're not a family man when you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us, and had us move over six times in six months running from your violence. Additionally, I don't care about someone who has a bad past and takes accountability, but how dare you lie and act as though you're some moral Christian upright man. You've lived a life of destroying other people's lives. How dare you? When I read this thread of tweets, immediately what came to mind was all the times Christian promoted his dad. And Twitter reminded me of Christian's other terrible takes. Like in May, when he said pro-choice women shouldn't worry about abortion being legal because they aren't attractive enough for men to have sex with them. But today, my heart goes out to him. Based on what we already know about Herschel's past and what he's been forced to admit himself so far, plus what Christian is at the very least alleging, this seems to be the response of someone who has been subjected to violence, trauma, abuse, and neglect, not knowing when and if he can speak up. That's how it goes. So leftists might want to keep that in mind despite potential feelings like he could have shut this whole thing down before it even started. So. Why is all of this from Christian Walker coming out now? And I bet Herschel Walker supporters wonder the same thing, just in a different, very telling way. Well, this comes on the same day that Roger Sullenberger wrote an exclusive that, quote, Herschel Walker, an anti-abortion absolutist, paid for an abortion in 2009. We have the receipts. Literally. Me. Republican Herschel Walker speaking exclusively to NBC's Christian Welker about why he flashed a badge during Friday's debate and whether he's pretending to be a police officer. And where's this one from? This is from my hometown. This is from Johnson County, from the sheriff of Johnson County, which is a legit the U.S. Senate has 100 people in it. Only 100. We are very close to having one of them be a man who thinks he's a police officer when he's not, thinks he's in the FBI when he's not, thinks he has a company with 800 employees when he only has eight employees. That's a pretty big accounting error right there. Has made up that he has another company that doesn't exist. Says he's pro-life and earlier said it was with no exceptions whatsoever, now says he's for Georgia's law, which maybe allows it in the case of the life of the mother, because he does what Georgia wants. Apparently Georgia wants somebody who thinks they are Willy Wonka, living in a fantasy land to be their leader. Raphael Warnock, the current senator, only served a partial term because he came in in a special election, is in a slight lead in most polls, but Walker is in the lead in another poll. That poll might have been conducted by Charlie and his chocolate factory. I know Charlie was the kid that visited the chocolate factory, but who knows? You can make the rules up now and decide you run the chocolate factory even if you don't. There's no rules anymore. Do you get it? Oh, and did I mention that he's not for abortion in almost any circumstance, but paid for abortions himself? Paid for at least one abortion that we know of, Himself, it seems to be the case, based on proof provided by the mother of one of his children. Says he's a family man, and his family seems to hate him. His son goes on tirades about how horrible he is. And the other day, in his one debate, the only debate he agreed to show up in, versus Raphael Warnock, the sitting senator, when Senator Warnock accused him of pretending to be a police officer, he pulled out a badge. He pulled out a fake badge. This badge, give me the right, if I, let me finish, if anything happened in this county, I have the right to work with the police and getting things done. An honorary badge that a police department gave him and said, this means I can get things done. I'm authorized to get things done if they call me. Any citizen could be authorized to get things done if a police officer asks you for help. It doesn't make you an officer of the law. I was given this coin many years ago when doing a stand-up comedy show for the troops by a Marine who gave me his challenge coin, one of the hugest honors I've ever received. I have this thing on my desk, I always look at it. It doesn't make me a Marine. 
I was given, when I was running for office by a veteran at a veteran center in Iowa, this incredible pen made of whalebone and bullet casings. It's a beautiful thing, one of my prized possessions. Doesn't make me a veteran. If we're gonna be pulling out honorary badges, I hate to pull rank on Herschel Walker, but I got one too. And this badge you can see right there makes me the sheriff. I'm the sheriff, Herschel Walker, and as the sheriff, I declare that your badge doesn't mean anything. And if any of you out there watching this video would like your very own badge, no problem. We got a whole bunch of them. I can mail this to you, and you too can be the sheriff that can outrank Herschel Walker at any time you like. It's very simple to do. Just because you have a thing doesn't mean you're that thing. My God, look, I've got an old camera. This doesn't mean I'm a time traveler. You understand? Oh, look, I've got aviator glasses. I'm President Joe Biden, folks. Listen, Herschel Walker's a confused man, folks. I've got this thing here. Look, I'm going to be the next senator. I've got a twirly hypnosis thing. Do you understand? Don't worry. I'm not angry at him. I'm not. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I've got a happy ball. <laughs> look at me. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. I'm also a pen. I'm a pen and a banana. I'm a very confused banana pen. Oh, boy. Hey, the United States Senate. It's a circus now. Come on board, anybody's welcome. Don't make me call this session to order with my gavel that is also a chicken finger. My finger is now a chicken and all finger chickens across the great state of Georgia endorse Herschel Walker for the Senate of the United States of America. Or we can stop being idiots and start electing adults who are serious and follow the rule of law into elected office, which seems to me like a better plan. But you do you, boo.